The origin of life on Earth is one of the greatest mysteries of science. Over billions of years, the planet transformed from a lifeless rock into a vibrant world teeming with organisms. But how did this incredible journey begin? Understanding the origins of life involves exploring a combination of chemical, geological, and even extraterrestrial factors. While no single explanation has yet been universally accepted, several theories and experiments provide clues to this profound enigma. Approximately 4.5 billion years ago, Earth was a hostile and chaotic place. The young planet was bombarded by meteorites, its surface was dominated by molten lava, and its atmosphere was a mixture of gases like methane, ammonia, water vapor, and hydrogen. Despite these extreme conditions, this environment may have been ideal for the formation of the building blocks of life. As the planet cooled, water began to accumulate, forming oceans, a critical step in the development of life. One of the earliest theories about the origin of life is the primordial soup hypothesis. This idea suggests that Earth's early oceans were rich in organic compounds, formed through chemical reactions driven by lightning, volcanic activity, and ultraviolet radiation. In 1953, scientists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey conducted an experiment to simulate these conditions. By mixing water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen, and exposing them to electrical sparks, they successfully produced amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. This groundbreaking experiment demonstrated that complex organic molecules could arise from simple inorganic substances under the right conditions. Forming organic molecules was only the first step in an incredibly complex process. The next stage was organizing these molecules into structures capable of performing essential functions. One hypothesis suggests that minerals found in rocks, such as clays, played a fundamental role. These minerals may have acted as catalytic surfaces, helping to align and concentrate organic molecules, creating a kind of natural template. This would have facilitated the formation of more complex structures, such as polymers, which are essential for life. Another possibility is the hydrothermal vents located at the bottom of the primitive oceans. In these regions, cracks in the Earth's crust released hot, mineral-rich water. The interaction between this environment and the chemical compounds present in the ocean could have created ideal conditions for complex biochemical reactions. A critical factor is that these vents not only provided energy, but also protected these molecules from the harmful radiation present on the Earth's primitive surface. Finally, an essential question is how these structures began to isolate themselves from the external environment, creating something similar to a membrane. Protocells, simple structures formed by lipids, may have arisen spontaneously under suitable conditions. They would act as small compartments, protecting internal reactions and allowing these early chemical entities to be more stable and organized. This isolation was a crucial milestone on the path to cellular life. The transition from simple molecules to protocells marked a significant step in the evolution of life. Protocells are primitive cell-like structures that can encapsulate organic molecules and sustain basic chemical reactions. Laboratory experiments have shown that lipid molecules can spontaneously form bilayer membranes in water, mimicking the structure of modern cell membranes. 
These membranes not only provided a physical boundary, but also created a controlled internal environment, allowing chemical reactions to occur more efficiently. Some protocells might have developed mechanisms to harness energy from their surroundings, such as absorbing light or chemical gradients. This ability to process energy was critical for maintaining internal stability and driving the chemical processes necessary for replication and evolution. Over time, these simple systems became more sophisticated, eventually leading to the first true cells. The idea of panspermia raises the intriguing hypothesis that life or its basic building blocks did not originate on Earth but were brought from elsewhere by comets, meteorites, or even interstellar dust. This theory suggests that in the universe, conditions for forming organic molecules might be common and that these components could travel vast distances seeding life on planets with suitable conditions. One of the main arguments for this idea came in 1996 when scientists studied a Martian meteorite known as ALH 84001. Within it, structures that could be microfossils were found. Although debates arose about whether these structures were truly signs of life, the discovery demonstrated that organic compounds and possible evidence of life could survive interplanetary journeys. Panspermia also finds support in experiments showing that microorganisms can survive for surprisingly long periods in space. For example, bacteria and other microorganisms were exposed to the harsh conditions of space in experiments conducted on the International Space Station and survived. This suggests that under the right circumstances, life could withstand vacuum, radiation, and extreme temperatures while traveling between planets. If the ingredients for life truly came from elsewhere, this raises another fascinating question. Could life be common in the universe? Panspermia not only redefines our understanding of how life arrived on Earth, but also broadens the possibility that it might exist on other worlds. One of the most intriguing hypotheses about the origin of life is the RNA world. This theory proposes that before DNA and proteins, RNA played a central role. Unlike DNA, RNA can store genetic information and catalyze chemical reactions, making it an incredibly versatile and potentially self-sufficient molecule in the early stages of life. The idea is that RNA molecules could have arisen spontaneously under primitive conditions, forming chains capable of replicating and evolving. Recent experiments show that nucleotides, the building blocks of RNA, can be synthesized in laboratories from simple chemical compounds like hydrogen cyanide and formaldehyde. This suggests that the conditions of the primitive Earth could have favored the emergence of these molecules. Once formed, these RNA molecules could have developed the ability to perform essential chemical reactions, such as the synthesis of new molecules. Furthermore, RNA could have served as a precursor to DNA, which is more stable and eventually took over the role of genetic information storage in modern life forms. The transition from RNA to DNA was a crucial evolutionary milestone that enabled the complexity and diversification of life. Although many challenges remain in definitively proving this theory, the RNA world continues to be one of the most promising explanations for the origins of life. It not only explains how the first replicating molecules could have arisen, but also how the process of chemical evolution paved the way for the living organisms we know today. Once life took hold, it began to evolve, 
adapting to the diverse environments of the planet. Early life forms, likely simple single-celled organisms, played a crucial role in transforming Earth's atmosphere. Through processes like photosynthesis, these organisms released oxygen, paving the way for more complex life forms. The appearance of multicellular organisms marked another leap in evolution, eventually leading to the incredible diversity of life we see today. The evolution of life also had profound effects on the planet itself. Biological processes influenced the composition of the atmosphere, the chemistry of the oceans, and even the structure of the Earth's crust. Life and the planet have been inextricably linked, shaping each other over billions of years. Despite significant progress, the question of life's origins remains open. Scientists continue to explore a wide range of possibilities, from studying extreme environments on Earth to searching for signs of life on other planets like Mars and moons like Europa and Enceladus. Advanced technology, such as space probes and sophisticated laboratory techniques, is helping researchers uncover new clues about how life might have begun. The search for answers also extends beyond science, touching on philosophical and existential questions about humanity's place in the universe. Are we alone? Or is life a common phenomenon throughout the cosmos? The answer to this question could redefine our understanding of existence itself. As we wrap up this incredible journey into the origins of life, Remember that science is an ongoing adventure, and every discovery brings us closer to answering the biggest questions about our existence. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you think about the possibilities we've discussed, or if you have a theory of your own. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up to support the channel. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries of the universe. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.